our salted water for our spaghetti. I'm going to break this spaghetti, and our true Italians won't do this, but since I'm just part, so I'm going to break it because it's easier to cook and it's easier to eat. So we're going to do this. And my grandmother would smack me if she saw me doing this, and she would smack me to use jar sauce, but we're going to do that too. And it'll be just as good. We'll add a little spice to it. And just like it come from Italy, even better. And we'll mix it so it won't stick together. 10, 15 minutes because then you're going to bake it when you put it together. Add two cloves of garlic in our pot. Chopped garlic and one chopped onion. And our ground round. Mix that up. Okay, we need just a little bit of salt with this. Okay, put this over here. Does that need salt? A little bit. Ruthie? Can we put it back over here and we'll pour it and see it? She'll put the salt in and put it right back where it was. Okay. And, turn and pepper. And pepper. Always a little pepper. You gotta, you gotta tell and, her. and wash hands. Where's my towel I had? That's good. And we'll stir the spaghetti. It's cooking good, has to boil good. Good rolling boil. Okay. We'll chop this up so it won't be too chunky. Sometimes I put it in the food processor and it makes it too fine for some people. So we just use this little apparatus chopper and it works just fine. Add Italian seasoning. Just, I don't know about it. Mm. Tablespoon, I'll say, and oregano. Add a tablespoon. That's good. Chop again. It's done because the redness is gone. And you just keep stirring it and we're going to... Yeah, we have to turn it down here a little bit because... Drain this so the excess fat will go off. Okay, we're going to put it back into the pot. I use two, two sauces. Sometimes the spicy sauce that I like is too spicy for a lot of people. But then I use a little bit of Prego to go with it. I get this is um, Priano. I get it from, uh, where do I get this? Aldi's. And it's real spicy. And good, so we're going to add this. We're going to put some tomato paste in here so it'll, it'll help thicken it up. Don't necessarily have to use it all. And you can, all, you can put it in the freezer. It'll, it'll last good in the freezer. I do it all the time. Add some prego, Don't enough sauce to cover it. Okay. Mm. 
there. I decided to use the whole can of this uh, tomato sauce because it was going to be too too watery and you will want it a little bit thick. So we use the whole can. That'll make it good. There we go. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm going to turn this down and go low. So I you rinse it with cold water. Always, when you're making the spaghetti pie or the lasagna or anything like this. But if you're just making a regular pot of spaghetti, you don't rinse it, so the sauce will stay stay on the spaghetti good. But you want this to go to be taken apart. That's why you rinse it. Look at good. Yeah. Okay. We need to take the acidity out. We gotta have just about a teaspoon of sugar to add in here. And that takes and see it's it's getting thick now. And the meat will be done and everything. And mm -hmm. That's good. Turn out just good. And just spicy enough. Mm -hmm. My grandma's a kidney would be proud of that. It's thick enough and it tastes good. The meat's done, everything's done. So we're going to cut it off, let it cool just a little bit. Then we'll start putting our, our spaghetti pie together. The sauce cooled down a little bit. We're going to start, we're going to put our spaghetti pie together. We're going to take Pam and spray this pan. And you should use a, maybe a, something else. I use my hands to do this. I can work better with that. Okay. Now, I'm going to make the crust for the pie. We're going to use two eggs. No, no shells in there. together. Got two beaten eggs. We're going to take a couple tablespoons of Parmesan cheese and mix that together. We'll reach in. We've got a handful, maybe two hands full of spaghetti. Mix that up real good. Pour that into our pan. Spread that out. Be a little bit cooler, but that's fine. Sometimes you have to use hands, you know. They were made before the spoons, anyway. As long as you wash them and keep them clean. Get more. I see it could be a little bit cooler, but spread that. Of the cheese here. Cheese. This is cottage cheese. I tried this with a couple of times, one time without the cottage cheese because I didn't have any on hand and it's not nearly as good. So if you've got an ounce of blood of Dago in you, you got to have the cheese. Rigotha. 
Some people mix it with egg, but I don't. Let's just kind of mix it together here. It's a lot of cheese, but you know, Italians like cheese. Got to put a little bit more spaghetti here. sauce. Even it out. Cheese. Using two spoons here. Because your last layer will be always use have the last layer for the sauce. Parmesan. We'll put a little bit of Parmesan on top while it bakes, since we don't have enough cheese. going to see if the Parmesan cheese has melted a little bit the last five minutes here to see if it's ready to come out. Oh yeah, maybe we could take the foil off for now, the last ten, five minutes. That's good. Looks good. Put it back in. Put it back in. And this for five or ten more minutes, and then it'll be ready to take out. It's been what, 35 minutes now. It should be ready to take out of the oven. It looks good. We're going to put it here, and we're going to let it rest for 15, 20 minutes, and that way it will cut better. First slice is always a little sloppy. Okay. Yeah. Hey, manja. <laughs> 